welcome to Tammy Rep Studio. In today's video, I will be testing water soluble oil pastels. I borrowed them from my friend Tracy. She bought them when we went to art supply store together. If you haven't seen this video, I will leave you a link up here and also down in the description below. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Tracy loves all kinds of pearlescent and metallic colors. So the oil pastels that she got are just regular and also metallics. And I will test them both. I'm very excited. And I think I will do two tests actually. Uh, one, uh, I will test these oil pastels by themselves. Uh, the description says they have very rich color and they're water soluble. Uh, and also I think the second test that I'll do will be uh, these pastels together with watercolor. Let's check them out. Okay, here's the first box. Just regular water soluble oil pastels. There's a little insert here in the box, nice metal box. Krita Color lists all their products on this thing. It will be interesting to read later. Okay, now let's test the pastels on just regular piece of watercolor paper. They're very soft and the colors indeed are very rich. Very easy to draw with, comfortable. Not very easy to get out of the box. You have to kind of take them all out, I guess. And I see that the colors are mostly pretty light. The green is light, blue, yellow is very light. We have this kind of brown and black colors, but not very many dark colors. Now let's try to blend them. With just clean water, watercolor brush. Yeah, they do become a lot more intense. Nice watercolor effect, but the texture still remains under the wash. So they don't completely move. You can, you still have uh, the drawn line showing on paper. Okay, the second test will be, I'm going to just throw some watercolor on paper, just a few colors to see how these oil pastels react with watercolor. Because I have an idea for a painting uh, with combination of these. I let the watercolor dry a little bit and I'm going to try to draw on top. And it works fine. The watercolor, it's, pretty, it's still pretty damp, but the oil pastels go on, goes on very smoothly. And then let's try blending. And I can see it mixes with watercolor really well. It doesn't separate or anything. And the lines, if I apply watercolor more transparently, like this yellow, the oil pastel lines still remain on paper. And we can add some more. And I zoomed in here a little bit and you see that I get the lines start to float a little bit, which allow you get a sharp edge on one side and then nice flowy watercolor effect on the other side. All right, let's test the metallics. I have a sheet of black watercolor paper so we can actually see the sheen. Take them out. I'm not going to test black, obviously, but I'll take everything else out and see how they do. These are very soft. Some of them are very soft, like this pink. It's almost like plasticine, so you can't apply any pressure while drawing with this. Others are a little more firm. This golden yellow is pretty firm. Green is nice and soft, but again, it's very light. All of them are pretty light, which works pretty good on black paper, but we will see how they behave on regular white paper. Oh, the silver is very soft. It comes off very easily. Okay, let's try blending them with water and they pretty much come off. I know that's black watercolor paper. It has a very smooth surface, so basically they just wash off when you try to blend them with water. Let's try drawing on top of this. Okay, yeah, they, they, you can't draw with them on wet surface like you can on watercolor paper. It's too slick. Maybe this silver one. Yeah, silver is so soft, you can actually draw on a wet surface with them, but not with the other ones. Green works to a certain extent as well. 
metallic shine is not very pronounced it's very subtle and i sure wish there were more colors like some purples maybe a few more browns or reds and once again if you blend they basically wash off but i don't think it's the oil pastels problem it's this slick paper that i'm using okay let's try those metallics on regular paper just a real quick drawing to see how they behave I sped up the video so we don't spend too much time on this. Use some colors. And on white watercolor paper, it's much easier to blend them. The lines still stay in place, even though if you scrub with the brush a little bit, they do come off. And on white, you don't really see the metallic sheen. It works just like regular color. When I was painting with those or drawing with those pastels, I kept thinking that they remind me of something that I already used before. And I remembered that I have these Dervent art bars. They're wax bars, wax pastels. And these oil water soluble, these are water soluble as well. And these oil pastels, when you especially draw with them on a wet surface, they really remind me of this material. So they're very similar. Okay, that's it with preliminary testing. Let's put those oil pastels to work and paint these beautiful roses. My first painting, I will draw my roses with oil pastels instead of the pencil. I know it's a little hard to see the drawing. The pastels are very, very light, so camera doesn't really catch them on white paper. But I just did a normal drawing that I would do with a pencil, but I did it with pastels. Now let's add watercolor and then in the end I'll probably add a little more oil pastels to emphasize the line work, add a few accents and add a few details. So here's the first one.
decided to add the background and I think I made it too dark. That second layer of watercolor was probably not strictly necessary, but I really like what I'm doing now. I'm adding some texture and kind of illusion of those bushes in the background with oil pastels and because they're so light they work pretty well on the dark background and I think overall this painting turned out pretty interesting it's bright saturated colors in combination with lots of texture for my second painting I decided to use a canvas pad it's basically paper that's primed with some gesso so you can use oils on it and I thought you know oil pastels maybe I'll try that uh, the paper's texture that has kind of canvas texture so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to draw my roses with different colors I'm using both regular pastels and metallics because I figured on white you can't really see that metallic sheen very much but that gives me just more colors to work with because to be frank the color choices are limited in those little sets so I'm going to draw my roses and I'm going to do a little bit of shading with pastels and then I will try to blend them with just clean water without using any watercolor and we will see how that turns out and I'm sure at the end I will need to restate kind of my line work a few details with oil pastels again so here's the second painting water soluble oil pastels only <laughs> Here it is. You can see both paintings on Tammy Rap Studios Instagram account. I did a little a poll there among my followers, and some people said they liked bright colors of the first painting more, and some people said they liked spontaneity and lightness of the second uh, painting. So let me know in comments which one is your preference. And also if you have experience painting with these oil pastels, I would appreciate it if you share your experience so we all can learn together. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this test. I know I did. It was very educational. I learned a lot and it's a good thing to try new materials to get our creative juices going. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one here on Tamirup Studios channel. <music>